we are going to see today about operators, expressions and type conversions in C programming. An operator is a symbol which tells the compiler to perform some mathematical or logical operation. Operators are used in programs to manipulate the data and variables. C language is rich in built-in operators and provides the following types of operators. So like arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, assignment operators and special operators. So these operators are classified as arithmetic operators, relational operators, bitwise operators, assignment operators and other operators or special operators. So the arithmetic operators are uh, plus, minus, star, slash, uh, modulus, post increment, pre increment, post decrement and pre decrement operators. So these will be performing the arithmetic operations. Then the relational operators will be equal to equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to and the logical operators are and and or and not so these logical operators will be connecting two expressions and uh, next is the bitwise operators. These perform the operations on integer data and this will be done on the bitwise data. So that is uh, ones and zeros will be the inputs and uh, you will be performing the bitwise and bitwise or bitwise XR, bitwise not, right shift and left shifts. These are the bitwise operators. Next category is the assignment operators which are equal to plus equal to, minus equal to, star equals to and uh, any other uh, operators uh, with equal to. So when you have plus equal to, so it indicates that if I have a plus equal to 5, then it is equal to a is equal to a plus 5. The left hand side uh, operate, uh, operand will be used on the right, side, right hand side also. The last category is the other operators or special operators which includes conditional operator, comma operator, size of operator, address operator and redirection operators. And again these operators are classified as a unary operator, binary operator and ternary operator based on the number of operands required. Operands are nothing but the data on which the operator works. So unary refers to the this or these operators will require only one operand. Example here plus plus minus minus. So I will be writing x plus plus or minus minus x. So only one operand is required. And uh, some arithmetic operators here are plus minus star slash modulus. These are binary operators. Again the relational operator are binary the logical operators are binary and whereas this not single uh, not it is a unary operator and uh, bitwise operators are binary and assignment operators are again binary. Then the ternary operators here it requires three operands. So it is question mark colon or it is also called as a conditional operators. Let us see the arithmetic operators in details. These are used to perform arithmetic or mathematical operations on the operands. The binary operators falling in this category are addition which is a plus, subtraction, minus operator, multiplication, star operator, division, slash operator and modulus percentage. So addition, subtraction, multiplication and division will take uh, either integer data or floating point data whereas modulus operator it requires only the integer operands. So if you write x mod y it computes the remainder of uh, x divided by y where both x and y are the integer data. Next category is the relational operators. So these relational operators are used for the comparison of two values or two expressions to understand the relationship between a pair of expressions. 
So the equal to operator is represented by equal to equal to and it checks whether the left hand side expression is equal to the right hand side expression. If so, the result will be true. Otherwise, it returns false. Suppose I have an expression 5 equal to equal to 5. So, this expression will return true. So, true means it returns 1. Not equal to operator, it is just opposite of equal to. It compares the left hand side expression against the right hand side. If both are not equal, it returns true. Whereas, uh, if both are equal, then it returns false. Next is a greater than operator. It compares the left hand side expression with the right hand side. If the left hand side expression is greater than the right hand side expression, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. And less than operator is just the opposite of greater than. Next is greater than or equal to operator. So, here the left hand side expression, if it is greater than or equal to right hand side expression, then it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. Next is less than or equal to operator. So, it compares the left hand side expression whether is less than or equal to the right hand side. If so, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. Next category is the logical operators. So, these logical operators are used to combine two or more conditions or to complement the evaluation of the original condition under consideration. So, first one is the logical and it is represented by two and symbols. So, here it first evaluates uh, the left hand side expression. If the left hand side expression is true, then only it goes for evaluating the right hand side expression. So, if both the left hand side and right hand side expressions are true, then the combined result is true. Otherwise, it results false the logical OR operator. So, again here it evaluates the left hand side expression. If the left hand side expression is true, then it returns true. Otherwise, if the left hand side expression is false, then it evaluates the right hand side expression. So, based on whether the right hand side expression is true or false, it returns the corresponding answer. So, if A is true, then it directly returns true and it does not evaluate the B. If A is false, then only B gets evaluated and if B is true, it returns true. Otherwise, if B is false, then it returns false. The next is the logical operator. So, this logical operator will be complementing the result of A. So, if A is true, it negates and gets uh, printed as false. If A is uh, false, then it returns true. And this uh, logical AND and logical or, OR operators, they are also called as shorthand AND and OR operators. Next category is the bitwise operators. So, you have bitwise AND, bitwise OR, bitwise XOR, bitwise uh, left shift, right shift and bitwise complement. So, the bitwise AND is a single ampersand in C or C++. It takes two numbers as operands and they have to be integers and it does AND bitwise to give the result. So, the result of AND is 1 when both the bits are 1. Next is bitwise OR. Again, it takes two integer operands and the result of uh, bitwise or is 1 if any one of the two bits is 1. This will be done for every bit of the input data. Next is bitwise XOR. Here again it takes two operands and the result of XOR is 1 if both the bits are different. It means one is 0 and other is 1. Next is bitwise left shift. So, this uh, left shifts the bits of the operand and the second operand decides the number of places to shift. So, again it is done on the integer data. Right shift is just the opposite. It shifts the bits to the right by inserting zeros from the left. Next is bitwise not. It is a tilde symbol. Here it complements the bits. That means uh, it is uh, again uh, performs uh, bitwise not on a single operand. It is a unary operator. It complements the bit that means 0 will be changed to 1 and 1 will be changed to 0. 
next category of operators is a assignment operators so here assignment operators could be shorthand assignment operators are a plus equal to b if i write it is nothing but a equals to a plus b likewise you can have any shorthand operators so next we see the special operators which are here conditional operator comma operator size of address and redirection or a re reference operator so conditional operator as i told it's a ternary operator it requires three operands so first it evaluates the expression before question mark so if this expression uh, evaluates to true then the expression which is after question mark and before colon will be assigned to the left hand side expression otherwise it evaluates the expression which is after colon and that answer will be assigned to the left hand side expression suppose you want to check uh, find out the largest of a and b then the expression will be big equals to bracket a greater than b question mark a colon b close the bracket and semicolon if you want to find the largest of three numbers then i can use a nested conditional operator next is the comma operator so this comma operator is a type of special operator which evaluates first operand and then discards the result of the same then the second operand is evaluated and the result of the same is returned suppose example if i have integer val equals to bracket 10 comma 30 then it uh, if you print the value of uh, bal then it prints 30 so if this bracket is uh, removed then you will be getting an error because it declares integer val as a 10 and 30 as a variable name which is a an error next is the size of operator so size of operator is a special operator which returns the number of bytes required for the corresponding data type so this size of operator returns the number of bytes based on the machine so the size operand if the operand for the size of operator is uh, integer it returns the number of uh, bytes required to store an integer data if the operand for the size of is an expression then it returns the expressions size next kind of operator is the address operator so this address operator here is ampersand and it will return the address of the variable a next is dereference operator again uh, here star is a dereference operator when uh, p is a pointer then a star p refers to the value which is pointed by the pointer p this is regarding the operators in c programming thank you